absolutely glorious weather this time of the year and uh, I'm just heading towards Balbriggan as I was saying in the previous episode about Tasca Max A uh, Winfer if you've been watching my channel and I'll be doing extensive testing about uh, this new wind windshield and I'm going to compare it with road uh, stereo mic that I usually use and whatnot but why I'm going there is essentially because there is a lighthouse and I just want to photograph that lighthouse now it's I would say it's a big adventure and as a solo shooter unfortunately I have to look after myself and I have to do everything on my own so it's kind of a kind of a lot of things that I have to pack now <laughs> I have one single camera bag yet uh, I keep a lot of things with me all the time just because it's easier to have everything set and ready to go rather than look for things this is one of the main uh, culprits for tomorrow this is a Tascam X8 and with the uh, wind killer so we'll be testing that what else I'll be putting into the bag obviously I have my leaf filters and uh, I have a one three and uh, two stops uh, Andy grad I have a reverse Andy grad and um, obviously uh, my uh, trusty little egg and uh, big stoppers that are here little stopper doesn't get too much love because I usually shoot in the morning so yeah it's like this but uh, it will be a time when I'll be using that more now nice thing is that combine you get 15 stops of of uh, light that you can cut which is great this is my road microphone that i'll be packing as well just to compare this windshield against the tascam and uh, apart from that i have my zoom f3 here zoom f3 i'll be mainly using with my uh, sonorous objects one just to get an ambient which i may use as a background uh, theme of my whole video and uh, apart from that obviously the camera is uh, my trusty Sony a7s3 yeah, I have a cage on it and uh, I have a 28 to 200 Tamron lens this is what I usually use because it gives me it's a very flexible focal length and obviously in landscape uh, photography you don't really need uh, shallow depth of field not for what I do long exposures I have a ND filter as well just in case I need to do some uh, b-rolls and uh, yeah now another thing that you'll be seeing more and more and more on my channel is obviously at my drone I have the DJI Air 2S and uh, why not I'm just get it just to use this drone for some establishing shots I just uploaded the firmware today hopefully it won't give me any error usually it's not recommendable to um, update the firmware before an important shoot because if there are errors you just have to use, wait for a fix but this firmware came out like two weeks ago so I just tested the market there I couldn't see any problems with it so I just uh, decided to to use it and uh, we'll see how it goes see you there yeah we're in Valbriga now and the conditions are absolutely beautiful it's it's fog it's a very thick fog uh, but I would say it's a perfect weather for a lighthouse that's a lighthouse what to do you know it needs to show the way on the sea now <laughs> could be a small problem like this lighthouse since 1980 or something it doesn't uh, put any light anymore but you know the general idea of fog and lighthouse I think it works perfectly and uh, currently is five o'clock uh, sun is about to come up now should be spectacular i would say at least i hope some fog some beautiful colors and uh, even if not it's still uh, going to worth it you know and uh, yeah 
great. I'm happy to be here. change of plan I have in front of me a rock formation which will obviously going to do beautifully in a minimalistic long exposure I just had to do it and uh, why not uh, it's still very foggy I can't even see the lighthouse I don't know where it is it's <laughs> well I know it's there on the right side but for the moment we're going to do a little bit something else so yeah i don't know about 10 uh, stop in the filter this time but <coughs> i'm just doing my uh, my regular stuff here uh, <coughs> sorry setting up my filters and whatnot what i really like about this composition is is the fact that there is fog and that gives you atmosphere it gives you texture and everything like looks 10 times better with fog in minimalistic as well um, you have to train your eyes for this spot uh, locations uh, what happens is those obviously those uh, rocks if you if you look them from above it's nothing much going on but once you put the camera and you understand how the camera sees it it will look 10 times better I'll just try to use a polarizing as well just just to see what it does I'm not sure what it does to be honest this time uh, probably I'll be going for uh, for f11 and I'll uh, use maybe like a two minute exposure we'll see it's kind of it's kind of dark obviously it's, it's blue hour still it's not enough light but uh, it is what it is f11 shutter speed should be 1 over 8 to give you two minutes exposure so the aperture actually <laughs> needs to be f4 yeah I, I don't mind that it's just that not everything will be in focus so probably if we're going to focus it rule of thirds everything will be fine and another reason for that is uh, the background is uh, in fog we have a lot of fog there so there's no point focusing there because nothing will be sharp anyway last thing to the recipe is obviously the remote control camera set to bulb very easy very straightforward photo And away we go. Now we wait for the result. Now I'm coming clutch. I have found another composition. It's just on the left of me. Uh, it's, it's obviously a, a rock formation, but it's covered by, by the fog. It's absolutely incredible. This fog is kind of setting on the filters as well, which is not nice. Uh, tide is coming, so, you know, <laughs> better get my gear out of the water. And uh, other than that, 
I will try to do the same, you know, two minutes composition polarizing. I don't know if polarizing helps. What I noticed is that the Bigly filter have, has a very strong blue cast. So if you set your auto balance camera in auto balance or around 10,000 Kelvin, it's much better. And uh, let me just see how's that is going to work for me. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's quite difficult to see what's happening there, but uh, it is it is very abstract. I'm just going to probably yeah. No, I think two minutes will be too long. Let me see how this goes without polarizing filter. Without ND filter. Yeah, without ND filter it's a little bit better. But not that much. Essentially there's nothing to focus on. Ah, wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Now we'll try a long exposure, why not? Because even if we fail, at least we still learn something. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just set the camera to... There is nothing to focus basically on. Uh, there's no need to worry about this. Everything is in fog. I'll just make it tight. A little bit up. Probably rule of thirds again. It will help me. And uh, that's it. We'll see what we'll get. I moved just a few meters away and now I have a better composition of the lighthouse. Unfortunately, still fog is very thick is uh, 740 now <laughs> there is no no chance for light but it just gives this mysterious aspect it's absolutely gorgeous uh, I used this time I'm with the polarizer Lee a small filter uh, or a six stop filter and uh, I'm shooting at f11 15 seconds of 15 seconds long exposure I have this, somehow, this sea stacks that are leading towards the lighthouse. I may use again to use the dehaze filter, we'll see. Hopefully it will uh, it'll work. Yeah. Absolutely mysterious and great, never lose hope. I went for a beautiful sunrise, I got foggy conditions. <laughs> Fog is equal as good as a marvelous sunrise, in my opinion. Uh, that's it for me. And uh, what else? See you next time.